We're gonna do this random side quest before we beat the game because the game just gave it to us and I'm a completionist douchebag. What I was saying uh, on the last recording when we got this mission and I was complaining how it was bad timing because we're kind of on like the final missions of the game and this is a bad time to get sidetracked, it wasn't meant to be triggered at this point. It was actually, it was triggered because we hit 80% Paragon. So that could have happened at any point during the playthrough. It just happened to, to us at this time. So my previous criticism is null and void. Yeah, we just got unlucky, basically. Or lucky, I guess, because we managed to get it before the game ended. Yes. Um, I also got lucky with managing to get my Earthborn, uh, so, yeah, my Earthborn quest, because I almost completely missed that. If I hadn't looked it up, I would have I missed it. I was just going through a run of all the assignments on the Citadel, and I just happened to notice that that one wasn't done yet, so... Yeah, it's a good thing we prevented that guy from getting voted into office. That wasn't the. That wasn't it. Oh no! It was the guy from the Reds. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer the spacer ones, honestly, a little bit more. Um, the spacer side quest. Uh, the spacer side quests all have to do with your mom, basically. Because your mom, if your uh, spacer is um, one of the admirals in the Alliance fleet. You take that back. What? You're talking smack about my mom. I'm not talking smack about your mom. I'm. Telling people what her job is. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Yeah, me thinks me thinks sniper rifle would be good for this one. I picked spacer for my playthrough, so if I had played Mass Effect One, I would have gotten that mission. Man, I have a feeling this is gonna be like borderline impossible. Do you ever meet your mom in one? Uh, As part of that mission, or no? No, you just talk to her. Okay. Okay. Let's check our targets here. Hmm. Oh dear. Uh, that's not a good sign. Um. Did. Did, did Tally just kill? Yeah, I'm gonna back up. I'm, I'm gonna back up. I'm, I'm just gonna... I will destroy you. Is there someone here we're not supposed to kill? Yeah, the insane scientist that were like meandering around. I think she killed him. Oh, researchers killed one. Okay. Yeah. So, right. Well, I'm just gonna do this then. How are you supposed to? How can, can you stop them? Yeah, you can stop them from attacking, but I have no idea. I I, I don't know. I I don't I don't really know. It's weird that the AI kill the terrorist leader before he can any more. Yeah. Oh no, God, uh, God damn it! It's weird the AI wasn't programmed to ignore the scientists, because they should. They're intelligent women. They would know that the scientists are not the targets. Yes. So well, that's for the Tally leader. Just... I will destroy you. Jeez. Go, go, go! Eh. <laughs> Hey! Stab it! Just suddenly got oh a Oh my god. I just this is giving me a Fallout 3 vibe for some reason. Just all of a sudden this awkward woman shouting threats. The civilian losses were tolerable. Uh And then you ragdolling all over the place. It just made me feel like I was, like the way I played Fallout. So I managed I managed to lose one. Only only one researcher died, so okay. that's, that's not too bad. It's tolerable. It's tolerable. And, to be fair, I didn't kill them. Tally did. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it worse, because I like Tally a lot. <laughs> so, like, I don't know if I would have been able to pursue a romance option with her if she had done that on my playthrough. Holy fuck, look at that. Huh? Damn, look at the shields on that. Hmm. Wow. I mean, it looks exactly the same as the armor <laughs> I was wearing, but holy fuck. More shields, awesome. I'm glad we went on this quest. I wouldn't be able to get that armor otherwise. Hi, insane scientist. Yeah, these people are crazy. 
So they were experimenting on drugs and then they actually took the drugs? I, I don't remember. I think that sounds right. I'm sure we'll figure out when we go back and talk to Admiral Hackett, Hackett and he'll be like, yeah, you killed the guy, but eh, <laughs> it's fine. Well, Shepard, I would have been disappointed if at least one innocent civilian hadn't been killed on your mission. Wait, can you kill them after the mission? What? Whoa. Did you clip her through the wall? These people are ghosts. I'm leaving. They're spooky. Spooky ghosts! Spooky ghosts! Oh my god, run away! I'm scared. I'm scared. Anyway, so we got new armor. Oh, oh no, I was gonna check something completely different. I'm doop a doop. Um, frictionless materials, okay. What are sledgehammer rounds? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I'm taking those. Sledgehammer rounds are awesome. I forgot. Those were like plutonium rounds, only better. The only problem is they cause your weapon to overheat a little bit faster, but because we're using Spectre of Weapons, they won't overheat very fast anyway, because they're good. So, yay for that. Uh, the Sledgehammer mod also makes the overheating sound change to something different. When you overheat, it goes... I have no idea what that's from. <laughs> it's a Peter Gabriel song. Who's Peter Gabriel? He... Message coming in. Patching it through. <laughs> He's a singer-songwriter. You took down the biotics with minimal collateral damage. It was my fault. No, it's not, actually. We, <laughs> we shouldn't pick that the, option. The biotics made it really hard. <laughs> I'm sorry we lost some of the researchers, Admiral. The biotics knew what they were doing. Nobody could have gotten out of there with fewer innocent lives lost. You saved a lot of lives today, Commander. Fifth fleet out. That was a good captain thing to do. Shift the blame to the guys you killed instead of to one of your squad mates. Totally. Alright. On the road again. We're gonna go to Ilos and talk about some stuff. Because Ilos is a place where stuff is. And I can't wait to get on the road again. Read. In the golden age of Bo <clears throat> Sorry, I wasn't prepared. I'm gonna do it. And I got it. I got it. In the golden age of the Protheans, Ilos was a verdant world, dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Ilos has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably ignited by, lighting, by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died. Miserable, slow, and horrible deaths. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard G's. That's heavy, man. You weigh more now, you fat ass. <clears throat> Commander? I'm not sure I still deserve that ring. <laughs> you probably shouldn't call me that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't even be wearing this uniform. Yeah, I agree. We broke our Let's take our uniforms off right now. So we can keep it. What happens if this doesn't work out, Shepard? We mutinied, stole a prototype warship, if they wanted to get technical, they could throw in kidnapping. What a hell of an example of humanity's best and brightest, huh? You said it. <laughs> keep reminding myself we're doing the right thing. I don't believe me yet. Well, if I didn't think you were doing the right thing, I wouldn't be here. It'll really hit the fan when we get to Ilos. If things don't go well, I want you to know. Well, I've enjoyed serving under you. <laughs> he takes <laughs> a step inches forward. closer. That's wow. like the time I tried to kiss a girl. 
But her reaction was wide-eyed, step back. <laughs> Is that it? You're still hesitating? After all we've been through together, what are you afraid of? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the regs against fraternization seem kind of petty now. Taking a stolen ship to face a giant extra galactic war machine. You know what? You're right. About everything. I think about losing you and I can't stand it. And the galaxy will just keep going. Everything, even the Reapers, will come around again. But you and I, we are important right now. And this is what will never happen again. Us, Shepard, you make me feel human. Say extra galactic again. It's so damn sexy. <laughs> extra galactic! <laughs> Alpha numeric! Oh my god. Uh, let's do the naughty. Bunk here tonight, Caden. With me. Is that an order, Commander? <laughs> damn straight! Damn right. Shut up and get over here. <laughs> Careful, Shepard. I might think that you're abusing your authority. A serious breach of protocol. It's not the only thing I'll be abusing. I'll breach your protocol. <laughs> you dick. Whoa. Yeah. This is the Fox News one. This, this, this is the one, the that, one that got Fox. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I would have to, Fox I would, News. I would have to do some pizza on that one, but. Oh, my God. The makeout sessions in two are so awkward. <laughs> They're not sexy at all. It's been a long time since I've met a woman who, uh... Bridge to Commander <laughs> Dick. Shepard. We're five minutes out from the new relay. <laughs> oh my god. Five minutes plenty of time. <laughs> you know, I don't think I have all my stress worked out yet. Joker's waiting then for Why'd you put your clothes back on? Cage, what the hell? <laughs> Anything happens to you. Take care, Shepard. <laughs> I don't oh. think I have all my stress worked out here. Joker's waiting for you on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, seriously. I guess he got his stress worked out. Selfish prick. <laughs> this shot really shows how massive these things are. Here come the gas. Uh, Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Oh my gosh, Presley actually audience. interacted in a cutscene. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Jeez. Drop us in the Mako. <laughs> You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. He's upset because he's not going to have the ship we'll to himself. Close enough for a if you can't land. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. Jeez. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't. I can do it. <laughs> Joker. I can do it. Gear up and head down to the I love you, Joker. Yeah. Right Joker's just like... He's just... He's like... Everyone's exploding around him, and he's just sitting there like... Smooth. Just be smooth, Joker. Yeah, I, he's just like, I got this. You guys are worried over nothing. But what if we don't make the landing zone? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Hmm. Are those space jockeys? <laughs> Stop, bitch! You two, keep moving inside now. This thought weed. Drop in. Uh, that was a hell of a land. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Oh well, boy, I found Sarah the conduit already. Open. Might as well just uh, there must be give up some now. Kind of okay. Security override somewhere in this complex. <laughs> He's just sitting on the other we side of the door. He's like, way to get it up and "We're win. You guys should probably go home." Yep, definitely got the conduit right here. It looks all uh, looks all conduity. Oh my god. All right. Well, we're just gonna leave the Mako here for now. 
good. We don't need it just yet. We'll be coming back for it. Oh, that's good. Well, you know, actually, after all this time with it, it would be good to, like, have one last joy ride. Oh, it... You won't be disappointed. <laughs> I, I can guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. Charging up. All right, let's handle all this shit. These uh, these hammerhead rounds are fucking awesome. Let me mm. tell you, I'm tearing through all this stuff. Yeah. So guess what? Uh, I found out. Geth rhymes with death. <laughs> Do you <laughs> sense a correlation here? <laughs> I had to put the sound effect in there. Wow. How fast can I kill a Geth armature? That fast. Jesus. Tore his ass apart. I remember when these things were giving you serious trouble. I remember when the one on Pharos killed me. Yeah. After I'd been shooting at it for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got Spectre Master gear now, so, um... Basically, no, we're not going to have that problem ever again. What's that, uh, the little waypoint over here? Hang on. Spectre Master Gear. When you care enough to shoot the very worst this of this door. galaxy's criminals. I have a feeling that that's going to be like an exit door to get us back to where we need to go faster. Hello, Mr. Geth Trooper. That wall was putting up quite the fight against him. Mm-hmm. Alright, let me see here. Hmm. Let's go... We need to go back around to the courtyard and then up there. Alright. So I think we go this way? Does that look right? Yeah. Yeah, this looks right. Alright. This plant's cool. I like all the, uh... Sound just cut out. The ambient noise did. That was weird. I think, it, I think it just switched over to a different ambient noise track. Did you hear it go tick? Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, okay. That was really weird. There's still ambient noise, it's just totally different now. I'll be listening for that again. I've never even noticed Finally, that. Some action. Uh, Viara? We've had action on the last 20 missions. That weren't the Citadel. Alright. Well, time to activate my rocket launcher. Damn it. Oh. I did hit him with one bullet and it did that much damage. Oh, wow, I just saw. Right before you killed him. Yeah. Alright. Hi, Geth. Two birds with one bullet on that one. That was pretty great. Alright. Can we look at one of those statues? Yeah, sure. Or corpses. No, there's I really ugh. Ugh. I know. I really think those were inspired by the space jockeys from Alien. They're very Cthulian. Yeah. Um, I thought those were supposed to be the Protheans, actually. But I think they're um, a race that's, like, older than the Protheans. Mm. Oh god. Oh god. I'm not using a sniper rifle on these things. Well, they're definitely not Aplants. Because Aplants have two heads. Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god, what is attacking me? A sapper. You guys are dicks, stop! Get back here. Little shithead. Ooh. Hmm. Ow. Aww. Alright. Area secured. 